A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When he entered Rome, Paul was allowed to live by himself with the soldier who was guarding him. Three days later, he called together the leaders of the Jews. When they had gathered, he said to them, My brothers, although I had done nothing against our people or our ancestral customs, I was handed over to the Romans as a prisoner from Jerusalem. After trying my case, the Romans wanted to release me because they found nothing against me deserving the death penalty. But when the Jews objected, I was obliged to appeal to Caesar, even though I had no accusation to make against my own nation. This is the reason, then, I have requested to see you and to speak with you, for it is on account of the hope of Israel that I wear these chains. He remained for two full years in his lodgings. He received all who came to him, and with complete assurance and without hindrance, he proclaimed the kingdom of God and taught about the Lord put this Jesus Christ. Here. Put, this, put this on here. The word of the I Lord. Do it. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Is, is that it? The just will gaze on your face, O Lord. The just will gaze on your face, O Lord. The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold, his searching glance is on mankind. The just will gaze on your face, O Lord. The Lord searches the just and the wicked. The lover of violence he hates. For the Lord is just. He loves just deeds. The upright shall see his face. <coughs> the just will gaze on your face, O Lord. May the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Peter turned and saw the disciple following whom Jesus loved, the one who had also reclined on his chest during the supper. And he said, Master, who is the one who will betray you? When Peter saw this, he said to Jesus, Lord, what about him? Jesus said to him, What if I want him to remain until I come? What, is, what concern is that of yours? You follow me. So the word spread among the brothers that the disciples would not die. This disciple would not die. But Jesus had not told them that he would not die. It was just if I want him to remain until I come, what concern is that of yours? It is this disciple who testifies to these things and has written them, and we know that his testimony is true. There are also many other things that Jesus did, but if these were to be described individually, I do not think the whole world would contain the books in which it would be written. The Gospel of the Lord. Well, let me say that I'm very honored, deeply honored, to be been asked to celebrate this graduation Mass. My only great regret is that the church is empty, the presence of those local high school graduates of Mother of Divine Grace, but we are joined in spirit by our mutual reception of the Eucharist, sacrificial, sacrificial Eucharist meal, as well as through the talent of Thomas Olson, a Thomas Aquinas College student, who will be live streaming our Mass. I do not intend on this occasion to give a homily, although I might refer to some of the ideas contained in the gospel that we have just heard, 
Today's Mass is for the graduates, and therefore my words will be directed to them, and to them alone. Others are invited to eavesdrop, should they so desire. And so, graduates, I'll begin by adding my congratulations to the many that you have already received, and then I'll share with you some of my thoughts on this particular occasion. Here's the first. It seems to me that the last two years of high school and the first two years of college are critical periods in one's life. It is as Robert Frost wrote in his memorable poem, The Road Not Taken, which I'm sure you must have been a jewel prize for you in your syllabus, that is about the road in which you have been traveling since your baby years. As Frost reminds us, that road now travels becomes a fork. In order to continue your journey, you have to choose one way or the other. You have to make a safe, altering choice in which compromise is not possible. And so, how do you go about making this right choice? There are a number of proposals, I'm sure, but let me limit myself by re recommending to you what I consider three habits that will aid you to plot more clearly as you stand there at the fork, wondering which path you should take, which one will lead to happiness for you. First, let me suggest that you make gratitude more evident in your daily living. Gratitude? Why gratitude? Well, isn't it in your experience that w once anyone receives something, he forgets that he has received it? Even more, he forgets that everything that he possesses comes from another. Isn't that your, your experience? For instance, you have life. You didn't give it to yourself. From where did it come? God gave it to you. Are you grateful? Do you ever thank him for this? Then, too, you are unique. There has never been anybody exactly like you, nor will there ever be another you. God made you who you are because of his love for you. He has given you your talents, your personality, temperament, your parents, your family, the opportunities that cause you to be you, the qualities and experiences that cause you to be remembered among the graduates today. Do you ever think, thank God for his gifts to you? He may, he has given you the world in which you can develop an appreciation for beauty, that is, the fields, the flowers, is given appreciation of music and perfumes, and for truth, that is, science, the difference between right and wrong, for having friends, for developing your intellectual and physical skills. He has given you the opportunity to know him, to be with him, as you strive to become a better person and a member of the church, which is the body of Christ. Do you ever thank him for such gifts? And the Eucharist, do you know the translation of that word? It means thanksgiving. And think of the gifts that you have because you are a citizen of this nation. But God is not alone. Count the people in your life who have given you so much. Begin with your mother. How often have you thanked her especially for putting up with you as you struggled along during the past four years with your homeschool lessons? 
and your father, whose work has enabled you to pursue these studies. How about your brothers and sisters, your best friends? Have you ever stopped to say, thanks for being you? Thanks for being here, for being such an important person in my life. Please continue to be near me as I stand here at the fork of the road. Voila, that appeals, introduces me to a second habit I, that I should suggest to you. Consider developing to enable you to choose the road that will lead you to happiness. Develop each day a stronger prayer life. Prayer is basically a confession that we are like the poor, blind, and needy that we read about and hear about in the Gospels. We need light to show us the way. Christ identified himself as the way and also as the light of the world. Prayer, then, is acknowledging as you stand there at the fork of the road, which road you should now pursue. You need light to see your way to achieve the goal that God has given you when he created you. And if you connect the need of prayer with the need for gratitude, you'll see the need to pray for others as well. Let the Blessed Virgin be your model. Our Lady at the Marriage Feast of Cana gives us an example of confidence in Christ's love for those in need. She knew Jesus well enough for him to see the distress and she gave him help. Ask her for, what the, for, for you the same attitude that she manifested toward others. And then there is a visit to her cousin Elizabeth. Tomorrow, which is May the 31st, were it not by exception Pentecost Sunday, we would be celebrating the Feast of Mary's visitation to Elizabeth, her cousin. You remember that after she conceived Jesus by the Holy Spirit, she went out to visit Elizabeth, carrying Jesus in her womb. Make frequent intercession to her, especially during these four years, to enable you to become in the Holy Spirit, to, to enable you, rather, to welcome uh, in the Holy Spirit the teacher of prayer into your own soul, so that, like Mary, you too can bring Jesus to others, particularly your future high school clan classmates. And now for the third habit I recommend you to develop. It is to recognize the distinction between pursuing happiness and pleasure. Pleasure is a gift. I mentioned it earlier that you should think, thank God for the pleasures about you, the sunset, music, a hug from one of your loved ones, the smell of incense at benediction, a Thanksgiving dinner, a glass of wine. They are pleasures designed to give delight, and we cannot develop into becoming normal men and women without them. Pleasure is a good thing, but it doesn't satisfy. Our tendency is we can never get enough of pleasure. So it can entice you to take the wrong road to happiness. Experience during the next two years will confirm you in what you have already observed namely that truly happy people have learned not to become slaves to pleasure, good pleasures are means, passing gratifications, not ends to be pursued to happiness, 
evil pleasures enslave us. So besides gratitude and prayer, what will lead you to happiness, to inward contentment, to balance and peace? Good friends. The road you travel upon is a road to pursue with other travelers. And that is why it is important to choose good friends as you begin your college career. In fact, there is nothing so important. So pray now that you'll be able to find good friends and support them in your pursuit of happiness, that they will support you in kind and let gratitude for their presence in your life lead you along the way. Here's a final thought for you. In today's gospel, Peter asked Jesus, what about him, referring to John and what was to be his future? What concern is that of yours, Jesus answered. You follow me. His response indicates that each one of us has a personal vocation. Jesus calls each one of us because he loves us infinitely and he knows us personally. To pray means to hear Jesus say what he said to Peter, you follow me. See how nicely today's gospel is worked into our reflection on Robert Frost's analogy of the fork and the road, and how each of us is invited to listen to Christ, who is the light and the way, who calls us by name to follow him, to achieve the reason why, we, why he created us, namely, happiness. So thank you for being here present in your physical absence. I am most indebted to those who asked you, me to per, preside at this graduation mass. It has been an honorable and gratifying chore to come in contact, however briefly, with the graduates of a Mother of Divine Grace, class of 2020. I promise that I shall keep you all in my daily masses and prayers, and it is with hope, fond hope, and joyful anticipation that we shall all meet with no masks at the end of our mutual journey, at which destination I'll probably arrive before you. But it will be a pleasure waiting. Meanwhile, may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We'll now make our prayers of petition. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, you teach us through the Book of Wisdom that there is a season for everything, a time for every occupation under heaven. As we gather here to celebrate this year's graduating class of Our Lady Mother of Divine Grace, we make the following prayers. that our graduates be always open to the simplicity of wisdom, the value of truth, and to their vocation to bring Christ to others in what they say and do. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the parents and families of these graduates, and for the homeschool teachers that have imparted wisdom and knowledge upon them during the past four years, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the, for the apostolate of Our Lady, Mother of Divine Grace, that it might expand and prosper, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the church and nations throughout the world during this time of the pandemic, 
that they be recipients of your healing power and mercy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Thomas Aquinas College, that it will continue to prosper and attract students similar in quality to those whose graduation we celebrate today. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our minds always be opened to the simplicity of wisdom, that we value truth more than the pride of being right, and that we recognize intelligence is a gift, and that we are responsible for its use. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, the dying, and the dead, that you place all of them under the special care of the Blessed Virgin Mary. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Now let us pause briefly and recommend to you our special prayers and intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, on this vigil of Pentecost, we ask you to send over to these graduates and all of us the spirit of light and understanding, gentle strength and open-heartedness in sharing the gifts that you have given to us. We make this prayer through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, St. Joseph, St. Thomas Aquinas, and all of your saints, and in the name of your Son, Christ Jesus our Lord. Benedictus est Domine Deus Universi, qui de tua logitate cipimus panum contibio ferimus, fructum terreno pros manum hominem, ex pro nobis fiat panis vitae. This is this water and while we come to share the divinity of Christ, own himself to share in our humanity. Benedictus est Domini Deus Universi, quere tua logitate tepibus vinum qui tibi offerimus, fructu vinus et operus manum hominum ex corbis fiat potus spiritalis. In orate fratres, a mem and vestrum sacrificium acceptabile fiat apodem patrum suum omnipotentem.
Look, O Lord, we pray on the splendor sacrifice pass placed on your altar with loving devotion and give your servants a right spirit so that their faith may make these gifts pleasing to you and their humility commend them through Christ our Lord. May the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you bestow gifts suited to every season and guide the governing of your church in wonderful ways. By the power of the Holy Spirit, you come unfailingly to her aid, so that with a heart always subject to you, she may never fail to seek your help in time of trouble, nor cease to give you thanks in time of joy through Christ our Lord. And so, in company with the choirs of the angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim, Sanctus, 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 Domine Deus Sabaoth, Plenis Unceli Terra Gloria Tua, Hosanna in excelsis, Benedictus qui venit in nomine Domini, Hosanna in excelsis. <clears throat> De Egitur Clementissime Pater, per Jesu Christi Filium Tuum, et Dominum Nostrum, Supplices Rogamus Ad Petibus Udi Accepte Habeas, et Benedictus Heic Dona Heic Mero Heic Sancta Sacra Vici Libata. In primis quae tibi offerimus pro Ecclesia Tua Sancta Catholica, quam pacificare costadire adirae o regio iniere storno petorarum. Urca fabula Tua Papa Nostro Francisco, eretiste Nostro Iosef, et obrimus orthodoxi, sacque catholici et apostolici fidei cultoribus. Memetro nomine fabalon, fabalarum quetiuarum. Per omnium circumstantium quam fides conita esse nono devotio, pro cui bitum e offerimus, fel cui tibi offerum hoc sacrificio volanus posei suies quae omnibus, Pro redemptione animarum suarum pospe salutis et comitatis suae tibique reina volus suae tiene et vivo et vero. Comunicatis et memoria veneratis et primis gloiosa semper virtus Maria Genetricis Dei Domino Nostra Iesu Christi, Serbiati Iosef et Iustum Virgi Responsi, et mea tuorum apostolom et matrum tuorum Petri et Pauli Andrei, Iacobi Ioannis Tomei et Iacobi Felipe, Bartolome Emete e Simonus Atenei, Lini Cletis Clemente Zixis Correne Cipriani Lorenzo Cosogni Ioannis et Pauli, Cosme et Damiani et Omnibus Sanctorum Tuorum Quorum Meritibus Pecibus Cecocenas, Ora Nomnibus Protectione Tue Muniam Uxilio. Agigitor Blasiorum Servitutus Nostris, Senat et Cuncti Fabula Tue, Quesimus Domini Barcanus et Cipias, Diusque nostri su tua pace disponas, arcum eterna damna se onusus serpi, et electorum tuorum jubeas gregi numerae, requisitam dominum nostrum. Quam ablasionum tu Deus omnibus quesumus benedictam, anscriptam ratem ratio nobel mace tabulum que facere ieris, udubus corpus et sanguis fie actilis mis fie domini nostri, Iesu Christi. Qui pridie compatere tua, Accepit Panum et Sanctus et Venerabilis Manus Suas, et Alamatus Oculus in Cielo, Mante Deum Patrim Suum, Omnipotentem. Tibi gratia sagens, benedixi, fregi, dedique, discipulus suis, dicens. Accepite et manducate ex hoc omnes, hoc est in in corpus meum, comprovabis traditur.
Sibyllä Vora Postcode Church West. A GPS at Hook Precarum College of a Sanctus Venerables Mother Suas. Eatum to be gracious agents. Benedictic the Dick with a Shibbal Suis D chants. A GPTA and BBTA exeo omnes. He can send him Calic Sanctus me e novi in eternity testament. He can provoke his separable to save a day too. A remission of Pecatorum. Hark facite a man. Commemorazione. Visterium fidei, mortem tuam annunciamus domine, et tuam resurrectione dofitemo, Donec venias. Memorus et nostris do Domine e do servitui, sera plebs tua sancte, justum Christi fili tui Domine nostri, tambe ad e passionis nectanus resurrectionis, sede celus coios ascensionis, oferibus plecae maestate tui de tori donis sedatis, ostium purum, ostium sancte, ostium immaculatum panum sancte vitae eterni calicem salutus perpetuae. Super corpo piso volto respiso regnieras, et excepta habere, excepta habere di dia, et habere di janus es a pura, et sancte iuste abel, et sacrificio patrarca nostra abere, et quod tibi arpta lent summa sacenus macisare, sanctum sacrificium evacolata mostiam. Suplices de becomas honi patens deus iube hippe feri per mana sancta jui tui spec lumina maestat etiue ut cod quod exa cultorat participaciona sacra sancta fili tui corpus de sanctus um servis omni benedicciona celestri gratia repeliamo. Requistum dominum nostrum. Momentu etiam domini famalorum famalorum quaetorum qui nos persecheno sino fidei et dormion sona pacis. Ipsis Domine et Dominibus et Christi Correcentibus, locum refugiae lucis et pacis, et dulcias, deprecamo. Nobis coco peccatoribus, famulus tuis de multitudi de misurationum proas pancibus, et par male comes hostitati non aegieris, cum tui sanctis apostolis et martiribus, cum Ioane Stefano Matia Barnibe Ignacio Lozano Marcellino, petu felicitate per pero agata, Le Agnus Sicilia Anastasia in omnibus sanctus tuis inter quorum nos consortio, non est de matro meritur servene quismus logitur et mite per Christum Dominum nostrum. Per cum hei comunia domini semper boni creas sanctificas vivificas benedicias et per stas nobis, per ipsum et cum ipsum et un ipsum est timido patria uno potente in unitate spiritu sancti, omnis onu e gloria per omnia secula seculorum. Oremus, pre, cepta salutaribus moriti et divina institutiona famane odemus dicere, Pater noster, qui es in geni, sanctificator nome tuo, advenia regium tua, fiat voluntas tua, sicur in cielo et in terra, parum nostrum contra dianum danum in sonie, et dimitri nobis dimitra nostra, sicur in nos dimitribus dimitoribus nostris, Ed ne nos inducas in tentationem, sed libera nos a malo. Libera nos quesimus dominiano vidimus malis, da propicius pacem in dimis nostris, ero per misericordia tu adiucti, ero per caro sempre sempre libre, et omni perturbationus securi, expectantes, beatem, spem, et arvetem salvatoris nostri, Iesu Christi. Domine Iesu Christi, quid existi apostolus tui spacem relinco vobis spacem emne vobis ne respicias peccata nostra, sed firme ecclesiae tuae iundum secuno voluntatem tuam pas ficari quad iunar in ieris, qui vivis in regnas in secula seculorum. Pax Domini sit semper vobiscu. Thank you. 
Agnus Dei, qui tolus peccato bude bisorere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolus peccato bude bisorere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolus peccato bude dora nobis. Pace. Dobre nostri Iesu Christi. Ecce agnus Dei, ecce qui tolus peccato bodi, beati qui ancena magni vocati son. Domini non sum dignus, urene sa tecto meum, se tanto liquevo, e se non mi trovo l'anima mea. Papa, sono il nostro Iesu Cristi, e sono il nostro Iesu Cristi, e sono il nostro Iesu Cristi, e sono The Spirit whom I send you from the Father will glorify me, says the Lord. Body of Christ, does he have Do it? You see? Let us pray. Lord, our God, who have been pleased to nourish us with heavenly food, pour, we pray, the delights of your spirit into the recesses of our heart, that what we have devotedly received in time we may possess as a gift for eternity through Christ our Lord. Dominus Fabiscum, Berenicat vos omnipotens Deus, Pater Filius et Spiritus Sancti. Ite Misa Est. And we will have it here at Thomas Aquinas College of saying the prayer to St. Michael the Archangel to protect us from what is known as the Obama Mandate against Catholic colleges and hospitals. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. 
be our protection against the wickedness and service of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And to thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.